Hey guys, today we're going to be working on wrapping the show poodle's coat. And this is a great video for people that are just getting into the world of show poodles. And they want to know how those big handlers get the poodles into such big hair and so much neck hair. And it's all about protecting and preserving the uh, top knot and the neck hair. So today we're going to be wrapping a freshly brushed poodle. Um, she's been pin brushed and combed through. And for today's activities we're going to be using a comb. Um, I prefer the um, All Systems comb or the Butter comb from Chris Christensen is also really good. These are great poodle combs for getting through all that that neck hair and that coat. Um, you're also going to want to have a pin brush. There's a few different ones on the market. I like this Kenshi one. It works really good. I love the way it feels in the coat. The Chris Christensen's also really nice. Or if you're on more of a budget, um, there is also the All Systems or the Madden brushes, which are these guys. And this is the Chris Christensen brush, which is also excellent for the Poodle Show coat. You're also going to need some band snippers, and you can get them from Madden as well. Uh, these are just some suture. Uh, removers. You can get them on Amazon or from some different veterinary supply catalogs and they're perfect for snipping the bands because they have a little a little hook to them there that grabs the elastic. Um, you're also going to need a good rat tail. These guys are my favorite from Sally Beauty Supply. They're like two bucks and they'll last you forever. This one's probably literally 20 years old and it still works great. I've dropped it 10,000 times and it's never broken. So. These are great. Um, we're also going to be using some latex bands, which I'm going to use to wrap around the base of the hair before I put in each wrap. And then we're going to be using wrapping bands, which are made of rubber. They're a little stronger, but you don't usually want to use them directly on the coat because they can damage the coat and break it, so they're great for putting over wraps. You can get these from the Color Coordinated Canine and they also make the latex ones matching colors as well. So what I'm going to do is start at the front of the dog here and between the the eyes and the front corner of the ear, the front corner of the ear canal here, I'm going to make uh, two sections. So I'm going to start halfway between the eye and the front corner of the ear and make one section. I'm going to go straight across with my rat tail like so, and then pull that up and out and just kind of use the rat tail to separate it and pull it back. And at this point you can check your line and see if anything's uneven, see if it looks like a snake or a straight line, and just try to make it straight all the way across. Alright, after you've got a nice straight line across, you can use the rat tail to hold that in place just like so. And I'm going to take my comb and comb through this section of hair. And you want to make sure you comb from the base all the way up so you get all of that hair out so it doesn't become bunched up down inside there because that's what can clump up and cause mats over time. So you want to make sure you comb through each section very well right to the tip, from the base to the tip. Uh, this is also a great place if you're having any static issues, especially this time of year in the winter. Um, a little conditioning spray in a bottle. Mist that on the section that you're laying down and just brush through that to get that out of the way so it's not attacking you as you band and wrap the section before like this one started to do on me. Alright, so after I comb through this section, I'm going to take my latex band here and I'm going to band her twice, once, twice, nice and close to the head. And this isn't going to stay in, so you know you can make this you know nice and snug if you want, and it's not going to bother her, because we're actually going to snip this out. Then what you want to do is take your wrap, and again, these are available through the Color Coordinated Canine as well. These are wraps. You can use them in ears, neck hair. Um, Shih Tzu people use them. Maltese people use them. And they protect the hair and encourage growth. So what I'm going to do is take this wrap 
and I've folded over the very end of it here and these are actually um, reused we're recycling them try to get a couple of brushings worth out of one set of wraps so um, these ones have already been used that's why they're a little crinkly so they're gonna look fresher when they're brand new but since we are recycling today we're gonna use these one more time so I fold it over maybe the last inch and a half on this and I'm going to wrap it around this section of hair pinching it and holding it with my thumb and using my fingers to slide the hair up inside and this is one of those things you just have to keep practicing it and get the hang of it it can be tricky sometimes it takes a couple of times and after you get it up in there nice and good what you want to do is use your pointer finger here halfway fold it over once like so and then fold it over twice like that okay then we're going to take our rubber elastic bands and closer to the base of that wrap I'm going to put one of them and this you want to make as tight as possible Oh, say sometimes it's so tight it breaks this you want to make as tight as possible because you can't damage the hair because it's protected in the wrap and the tighter you make it the less chances of it loosening and the wraps slipping off you know over time the longer these are going to stay in and last for you then I take my second one and wrap it over the top of that wrap as tight as I can get there so there I have that nice little section there all protected and wrapped now I'm gonna take my snippers here my suture removers and snip that band that I put at the base to hold the hair together for me and then that will release and now it's nice and loose so it's not going to bother her like that then we go to our next section missed a little conditioning spray on there brush through it real good with the pin brush here and same thing as the first one this one is going to finish just in front of that corner of the ear so I'm going to take this rat tail and slide it through and take a nice section of hair here use my conditioning spray brush down the rest of this okay and then I can use my rat tail to hold that in place and I'm gonna comb this through All right. and now once again I'm gonna grab this put that elastic band in there nice and snug and grab my next wrap and I'm gonna start it right at that elastic that I've wrapped around the base of the hair and come all the way up straight hair in there all right just like that and then taking my pointer finger halfway fold it over and then fold it over again all right now we've got that and now take your rubber elastic and wrap it nice and tight around the base and second rubber elastic around the top all right, that one I can't get any tighter. All right, so now we've got two sections there. Um, and again, taking my suture removers and snipping that elastic around the base. All right. Now with these two front ones, you may find that they kind of flop forward and they're in her face and she can't see. So what I like to do is make a little um, kind of support system for them out of two elastics. So I'll take two of these elastics and just kind of band them together like that if you can see it from there right like that and then what I do is I take this side and wrap it around that one okay and now I've got that second elastic section there and I'm gonna wrap it around the top of this one 
like so. And that'll hold it back out of her face so she can see, so it doesn't flop forward. All right, now we're going to move on to between the ears. And this is a tricky section because you uh, want to make sure that you don't have any ear hair caught in these because what will happen is if you have ear hair, it's going to irritate the dog, cause them to shake or scratch at themselves, which is going to cause a lot of matting, which is what we don't want. We're trying to avoid that here. So what I like to do is when I'm making my sections between the ears, I want to start you know, where I think the top of the ear is and go straight down the side with that rat tail, sectioning off just over the top of the ear. All right. Okay. And then after I've done that, what I want to do is I just kind of lift each ear and kind of feel where the top of that ear leather is. You know, there should be a little a little hump here. So I just want to make sure that I don't have any ear hair caught in these middle sections. All right, so after I'm sure I don't have any ear hair in there, I'm just going to take a little bit more on this side. There we go. And another thing you can do if it makes it a little bit easier for you as a guideline is just stick a scunchie over the top of each of these ears. And, you know, that can help you a lot too. You know, just get the ear hair out of the way so it's not bothering you or getting uh, caught up in the wrap. So now that I've separated the ears, I'm going to go straight across, make a section here. Okay, make sure it's nice and even. Little conditioning spray. Brush it down. Hold it in place. And comb up. Band at the base. Here we go. And our third wrap. Okay, here we go. And then we wrap it oh, nice and tight. Very good. Okay, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is continue down the whole back of this dog with this process and then we will move on to the ears. All right, so here's our finished product with the neck hair. And I just wanted to show you guys how it looks going all the way down the back. And you wanna make sure that you get those lines nice and even and straight all the way down. And make sure that when you're using your rat tail that you're getting right down to the skin and not leaving any hair you know, in between to get matted. You should be able to see the skin when you part the hair for each section. All right, That's what you're looking for in there, to be able to see that white skin. Right down to the skin, and that way you know that you've you know, gotten each section nice and separated, and they're not going to fuse together that way. Um, when I'm doing the top knot, I like to use these style headrests and you can get these from um, pantsfordogs.com. Come here Aria, can I have this? Show you guys that there. If you can see it, I'm not sure. There it is. Pantsfordogs.com. Um, but when I'm doing her neck hair and going down her back, I actually like to have them lay on more of a rolled or round style pillow. These are great. Come here, sweetie, lay down. Um, and the reason for this is because it actually kind of wraps their neck around it a little more so it's easier for me to get at all of these sections here um, I find that when they're up on the other style headrest that the neck kind of you know bunches up back here and it's harder to get at it 
So um, with the neck wrapped around this pillow, it makes it a little bit easier to get all these sections in here. All right, and now I'm going to stand her up and we will work on the ears. All right, and lastly, we are going to be wrapping the ears. So here is the ear all brushed and combed through with a little conditioning spray. What I like to do to protect the front of the ear on these guys is take a little section of the front of this ear with your rat tail here and I'm going to band it before I put it in the wrap and this way if they're chewing on bones or playing with toys um, they're not going to be chewing off the front of their ears in the process. This will help keep it gathered up and protect it. So I take that section there and what you can do to make it easier to band is grab a scunchie and put that around the rest of the ear hair there temporarily just to hold it out of the way. So now I have this piece to work with and comb it through and then I'm going to take two bands here. Um, these are the latex bands, again, the, not the rubber bands. So these are not going to break this hair and damage it. So I've got one there. And now I'm going to do a second one right here. Okay. And then the rest of that is going to go down into the ear wrap. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, Aria, I know. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get our ear wraps. And these are, this is what the new um, ear wraps are going to look like. They're not crinkly. They're nice and um, clean and flat. And depending on how long the dog's ear is, you want to, you know, fold over um, the edge of this, you know, to match the length of the dog's ear. So, you know, if you have a very short ear, you don't want to use all this wrap. You want to fold this over a little bit. Um, these wraps also come in two different sizes. This is the longer wrap and there's also a shorter wrap. They're from the Color Coordinated Canine and they come in a large spectrum of colors as well. Of course, Aria here is done in all purple, which she loves. She thinks she's fabulous. So I'm going to fold over the top section of this ear wrap here like so. All right, and give it a little crease across there. All right. And now I'm going to take this ear and just comb through the rest of it here. Make sure my comb glides through nice and easily. Make sure I have all that hair going straight down. And I'm going to take this wrap and wrap it right around here. All right, as tight as I can go. And, you know, pull it out right to the tip there. And just like when you are wrapping the neck wraps, you want to fold it up once, like so, and then fold it up twice, just like that. Then we're going to take our rubber elastics and put them on here, nice and tight. And one up top and then one down bottom. And very, very important whenever wrapping or using elastics in any ear, always check to make sure that you do not have the ear leather caught in that wrap or those elastics. So always check with your comb and make sure that your comb goes all the way through. So that way you know you don't have that ear leather caught in there. Um, because ask anyone who's done it, they will dry up and fall off. It is not pretty. So always make sure that you are clear there. All right, and here is our freshly wrapped poodle. I would say that with wraps like these, on average, you can probably go about a week between brushings, give or take. Every coat is different, so you know if you have an easier coat, you could probably go a little longer, maybe a week and a half. Um, problem coats or coats going through coat change, you may want to take them out sooner and check them. And this is a great way to protect the coat, you know, especially if the dog's doing a lot of running through the woods, you know, where they may damage coat or break it off. 
can see the side there. And she is good to go. Uh, make sure you guys like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube page for new and upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.